Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Boku no Hero Academia, aka My Hero Academia, Chapter 31. Okay, and uh, Todoroki at this point has pretty much figured out that Izuku has some type of connection to All Might, he just doesn't know what that connection is. Um, back in the last arc, he was able to kind of get a good feel for All Might's presence, I guess you could say. And he feels that Izuku has the same presence, therefore he must have some connection to All Might. Because it's not every day someone has the same presence as another person. Or at least one that's that similar. Alright. Um, and this, this, this connection to All Might ends up making Todoroki want to defeat him even more. Because, um, well, he, he essentially tells us his backstory. Okay, and he introduces us to the concept of quark marriages, right? Essentially, if they're arranged marriages, however, the only reason you're getting married is to pass on both both of your quarks onto your child, right? Which tells us that quarks are legitimately hereditary, right? Um, but his father, he goes on this, well, both him and Endeavor said this, um, that his father ended up creating him for creating him for no reason other than having him defeat All Might and become the top hero. Right? And because of that, Todoroki feels like he's really nothing more than a tool for his father's ambitions, okay? Which sucks. Right? He does not like that at all. Right? And um, his mom was just suffering through the entire marriage and just seeing Todoroki's left half would put her in pain. Apparently enough for her to throw scalding water at his face, which I mean, Jesus, like, <laughs> like how bad must it have been? My God! And for the, you know, after a certain point, if I was Todoroki, I would have just dyed my hair, unless his quirk is just so strong that the hair dye gets negated and his hair changes color by itself, you know, which, you know, whatever. But like, I would have just dyed my hair at that point, but. Uh, okay, uh, but anyway, it's because of this that he wants to become the top hero by just using his mother's quirk, by just using his ice half and not using his father's half, because he feels like by doing that he will kind of be defeating his father in a way, by not, not doing what his father wanted, so that's why he wants to just use his ice half when it comes to combat, um, and yeah, that's that's a crazy backstory. I mean, you could you I mean look at Midoriya's reaction to it. Even Bak even Bakugo was caught off guard by that. You know, Cause he he was uh, down the hall listening in, right? So I mean, even he was caught off guard by that. Their facial expressions there perfectly captured the moment, really. So I like that. Right? And um, Todoroki ends up reaffirming his resolve, like I said he would last week saying that he's going to defeat he's going to defeat Izuku, he's going to defeat All Might, well not defeat All Might, but he's going to become the top hero, pretty much. Alright, and Izuku answers and says, listen, you know, I my motivation might not be as, as as deep as yours, but I do still want to become the top hero. So I, if I need to, I will defeat you. Alright, and that sets up that. Alright, so now we've got Izuku and Bakugo and Todoroki all being like top contenders, and I'll add in Shinso because he's Shinso. <laughs> the four captains, right? They're the four captains of the team, right? So, uh, I think that, oh, uh, yeah, after after this we have some shenanigans, and then it gets revealed that the next round of the, uh, the next round of this whole festival is a, to is a tournament, pretty much. Alright, so I'm thinking the final four will in fact be those four captains, Midoriya, and um, Bakugo, and Todoroki, and Shinzo. I'm pretty sure. I mean, uh, we do have other pretty legit people there, like Kaminari, and Momo, uh, Tokoyami. You know, like, there are other legit people there. I just don't think that they can stand up. To Bakugo and Todoroki and Shinso, and I think Midoriya, just by being the main character, is going to get some uh, some underdog wins and make it into the final four. All right, so who who's actually going to win and get it get into the final two? Now that I'm not sure of. 
that I'm not sure of. Um, what would be interesting is if Midoriya ends up getting defeated, not by Todoroki, not by Bakugo, but by Shinzo. Now, that would be interesting. Because it's like, because at that point, because uh, that would end up meaning that Todoroki would be facing Bakugo. Alright, which would be legit. I, I, would, I would be looking forward to that. Alright, but it would also mean that, like, neither, even if one of them wins, they wouldn't really be accomplishing their goal of defeating Midoriya. Because he's the one that they feel they need to beat. Todoroki, because of the fact that he's, you know, got that connection to All Might and Bakugo just because they're they're rivals, you know. So beating the w person who beat Midoriya isn't going to be enough for them. They want to actually beat Midoriya themselves. So that would be interesting. Uh, that would be interesting. I I want that to happen. <laughs> I want that to happen. All right. Uh, but we're gonna obviously it's gonna be a while before we get to the final four. Uh, we've got. Eight matches in the initial round of this tournament. Um, some of them will probably not be given that much time when it comes to people who aren't people like Sarah or so. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> they're not going to be given much time in their match. They're just going to get dominated. All right, and you know some of the other people like the guys on Shinzo's team. You know, random guys. They're probably going to be jobbed out, not have very long matches. But um, still, I'm looking forward to it. Um, clearly, I clearly there was a bit of a gap here um, in my recording of this video, which is a shame because I was I was actually almost done too, but then I had to stop for reasons. Um, but uh, yeah, the, I I enjoyed the chapter overall. Uh, I I give it an eight out of ten. I thought it was a real good chapter. Um, I still like last week's better just because we focused on more, but. Um, this week we put a lot of the focus on Todoroki and it was enjoyable, so I'd, I'd say this was a pretty good chapter. And I'm looking forward to the tournament. And Yeah, that's, that's that, you guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.